Okay. As tempting as it sounds, I know sometimes you're gonna have some group projects and you're gonna wanna have to you're gonna wanna choose your friends as your partner. I highly do not recommend it, and here's what. So I remember when I was in the uh, sixth grade, um, I had a project that I had to do on a book we read by Edgar Allan Poe, and I chose one of my best friends to do the project with me, and uh, we had to do a lot of character analysis in the project. We had to do some conclusions. We had to do some plot analysis. We both decided to do the project equally. We both were doing a little bit of character analysis. We were both doing a little bit of plot analysis. We were both writing on the poster. I was already pretty much done with my portion of the project. I had written out basically a poster where I had had it nicely written in my pencil sixth grader handwriting something like this and I was going to after completing the whole portion of my part I was going to go over everything with Sharpie after I had nicely neatly written with pencil first she was still doing her portion and had not gotten very far so I had it where after my poster was done I started going over it and I started going over it very neatly so I had it written with the gold you know and had it pretty neatly for my sixth grader handwriting then I got called to the computer lab for about 25 minutes and my friend was supposed to be working on her portion well she eventually decided she didn't want to work on her portion and she wanted to instead instead of doing the plot analysis and think about characters and write up what she thought she wanted to do something simpler she wanted to just trace over my portion of the project because then she could just say, oh, but I was working while you were gone. I was working on the poster, see? Now we just have to together work on my part. So she tried to quote unquote help by going over my portion of the project. And here's what she did. So she was going to neatly, quote unquote neatly, go over my portion of the poster. Now mind you, I had no idea she was doing this because I wasn't in the class. But she starts tracing over what I did. And she was doing it like this. Oh, let's make this lowercase, backwards G, and O. Let's make a backwards Y, and O. Oh, and let's also, let's misspell Alan, and let's make it like this. So I come back from being in the computer lab, and basically my whole poster looks like freaking this. Um, this is normally the correct spelling of Alan, it's just not how Edgar Allan Poe spelled his name. And you know, it's all freaking sloppy on the part she did. She hadn't done her portion barely at all, and she just writes over my poster and makes it look like crap. So I ask her, what were you doing? Why didn't you do your portion? Oh, but I was! I was helping on this. I'm like, what are you doing? These are backwards, this is messy, and she she didn't even own up to it. She just got defensive and she was like, oh, but it was messy before. Oh, but you had it backwards before. Oh, but you had it this way before. As you can see, she completely missed what I wrote in pencil, even though she wasn't even supposed to be doing this portion of the project at all. She didn't do her portion of the connector analysis or conclusion, so I ended up having to do that part for her. It was just a big mess. So, do not recommend choosing your friend for a group project. If you do, use with extreme caution.